Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. Glad you're here. I want to take a quick shout out and thank you to the channel members and thank any of you that have come through to watch the content. The content. I really appreciate it. If you're so inclined and you like EDC and Knife content, if you'll hit that bell notification icon and that uh, bell notification and the icon, it'll notify you when I release new content and it'll really help the channel. Today's video is going to be hopefully quick. I've taken this hinder apart a lot. And we are going to take this eclipse. It is a three and a half inch eclipse. Perfectly tuned, perfectly droppy. But we're going to see what the bearings are that we have in there. And we might switch it out with skiffs. I've switched several of my hinders with skiffs. And they, this is a T6. which I think it's actually some type of Allen that a T6 works with it. Just really careful with them. And I put them in so I know they don't have Loctite. And then I learned from Metal Complex that the easiest way to release this pivot Instead of using the fancy hinderer tool, just use a good old penny. It works very well. All right. Guys, I am hoping, hoping, hoping this is a very quick, informative video. Pop the scale off. My barrels are probably going to go flying. Nope. All right, see I've got my stainless steel bearings in there. And they're pointed the way I wouldn't have pointed them. They're pointed away from the blade. Odd. We'll clean that up. Get my hair out of the way. All right. So... One sixteenth. One sixteenth by quarter. <clears throat> quarter by one sixteenth. So we got the right size. So let's do a little quick cleanup of our parts. I should have these little rags out. I'm sorry. Because they are kind of a pain to try to pull apart. Oh, wells. Take our tornado blade. Pivot our tracks there. Keep our stock pin in place. Clean off that scale. The bearings are going away. Alright. Now, we need to get out our skiffs. I always struggle, guys. I apologize. Take a look at these. Same thickness. Same width. Should be just perfect. So let's get us some um, KPL Original. Put a couple of dabs in our track. Put our track up there, keep our, get our first bearing lubed up on our finger, like that. Keep 
Yeah, heavy. Whoops. You know, I'll lube this stuff up like it's a sandwich. But, there we go. See, I did kind of jack it up, but I didn't. Now, I'm going to keep it original. Slightly in there. Lube up my other bearing. And then take my hollowed out hinder scale. Make sure I've got everything pressed in the right spot. Mainly my stop pin. Let's see. That's odd. Ah, oh, that front just snapped in. So what I'm gonna do? A little hand threading. Okay, so I'm gonna get this back in. Come together. struggle bus here we are going to back this out try and coax our barrels into their little slots Here we go guys, I think by closing it we're either going to find out that we're really janked up or that it went back together. Sorry about the long pause of silence, I was thinking what I've done wrong and looked around and did not see any miscellaneous parts, therefore thinking at least we are putting the right screws in the right holes. Then we will tighten down our pivot. We'll see what our centering looks like. Thank you, Metal Complex, for this trick.
and watch this blade suck up when I get it tight. And she'll just move over. See that? Might have to Loctite that. Thunder's out. Feels great. No side to side. No gaps. Dead nut centered, guys. Another skip win. Put my penny back in my pocket. Box up my KPL. Get ready to put up my uh, good screwdriver for the evening. Take my hinderer bearings so I can put them back with my triway system for this uh, eclipse. So what I will do in the interim is I'll put them in this bag on which I will write and that's why when I find them in my little bearing slider I will know where they are. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I went through this. It was a little bit of a struggle bus, nothing too much. Anytime we take a knife apart we're going to run into crap, right? But this is the Hinderer Eclipse Flipper Delete bearing upgrade from the stainless steel Hinderers to the uh, nice phosphorus bronze solid skiss. Get some of this oil off here so I can get my flick on better. So I did oil it up. And let those work in. But yeah, guys, that's what we have. I'm glad y'all were here. I appreciate you always. Anytime you watch the content, it really helps the channel. If you like it, that's great. If you share it, that's great. But just the fact that you're here, I appreciate you. If you would, please, always look out for the guy or gal to your left. Always look out for that guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.